guys, uh, Connor Booster here again, Captain Um, ready to teach you just one more thing that I learned while messing around with this little basketball slide that I made, and uh, that is experimenting with conditional logic for the first time ever as an event. So, um, basically what conditional logic is, is it's a cause and effect event, it's an if this happens, then make this happen. Kind of like something you learned in, you know, your third grade English class. So what's going on here is instead of putting a delay on this net swooshing and putting a delay on the sound, I did a conditional logic event that says if the basketball comes within a certain distance of the net, then make it make the swoosh sound and also make it go from base state to state back to base state again which makes it uh, give the visual swoosh movement along with uh, the swoosh sound that you hear so uh, yeah it's just a logical um, artificial intelligence it's if then so if the ball comes within a certain distance of the net then this happens so there's two things going on there it's the movement of the net and the swooshing but I'll show you real quick uh, how to make this kind of event happen. And this will be the last uh, little experiment we do with this basketball court. But so we're going to make a sound effect for when the basketball enters this little tunnel. So um, what I'm going to do to make this happen is I'm going to make a little tiny sphere here and just make it, uh, it's not a sphere, just a little circle. and I'm just going to add a glass effect to it to make it invisible and put it right near the entrance of the tunnel. And so what we're going to do is click the basketball and we'll uh, start a new event and we'll go down to conditional logic. If the basketball comes within a certain distance of that ellipse then it's going to make a sound, right? So we'll go to the little spline sound library and find a ridiculous sound that I didn't prepare. Uh, the xylophones are always fun. Let's see. Yeah, we'll use that one, okay? If I did that correctly, when I push play, You get that little sound effect when the ball enters the tunnel. And there's a conditional logic again for the swoosh. So if the ball comes within that certain distance of that invisible cylinder, then it's going to make a sound effect for it entering the tunnel. And that's just, you know, the basics. But you can use conditional logic to do a million different things. Uh, that's just a little intro. Um, that's the only thing I've figured out so far, but there's a million other things that you can do. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.